Good afternoon, guys. Good evening. It is 6.52 p.m. And this is LaQueen Battle coming from downtown Boston at the Boston Park Plaza Hotel. I'm very happy to be with you guys today talking about the current updated status on Reverend Jesse Jackson and his diagnosis of COVID-19. Um, COVID-19 as well as Parkinson's disease. So, um, I would really appreciate you guys if you just continue to hang with me here um, while I uh, view, as well as I sent a link to um, Eventbrite uh, for more information on what I'm currently doing right now. And I'm going to go ahead and give you a brief, uh, brief picture and a site and uh, talk to you guys about what is going on right now currently with uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson. So please follow along with uh, please follow along with my event right page as well. Okay, and then you just go to the website. Okay, and then and uh, search for um, Reverend Jesse Jackson. Okay, search for Jesse, for Jesse Jackson. So you will find all this information here on my uh, website for uh, medical assistance perspective and Reverend Jesse Jackson and his battle with COVID-19. Okay, all right. So you go to this link right here and it says register. Okay and then you'll be able to find all the information here, okay? All right, go to the website, get the link, okay? And then uh, you'll find additional information right here, okay? All right, so pretty much, I'm gonna go ahead and go over something really quickly. I'm really not interested. I'm here at the, bar at the International, the Massachusetts Hotel and Lodgers Association. Um, they had a brief conference and a meeting today talking about some issues that the hotel industry was going through as well as, of course, um, some issues that the hotel industry was going through as well as, of course, um, what, uh, you know, losing employees, high retention rates, other issues, of course, that people are dealing with um, here in the city of Boston. So bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Um, keep in mind with me. Uh, just follow along with me if you can, okay? So just follow along with me on my social media page, okay? Just please um, continue to follow along. So you go to my Facebook page, LaQueen Arlene Battle, and you'll find my message here, right here, on everything you do. And then um, I will go ahead and show you guys this picture that I saw today. Uh, my Facebook page is a picture that was on my social media feed by a friend and this picture is dated September the 14th 2021 um, I will go ahead and follow this to Roland Martin um, uh, Roland Martin as well okay so pretty much this picture of Reverend Jesse Jackson is was posted today on on my social media feed um it has him he is currently at uh northwest memorial hospital um thank you thank you so this picture um this picture of reverend jesse jackson and it was shared on social media uh dated September uh, 14th, September 14th, okay. Okay, so this picture is on social media and it was dated September the 14th. Um, it has the Reverend, and I mean, I, everybody knows that he's going through Parkinson's disease, but he is in very grave health and is dealing with a lot of issues. Um, he is very pale, pale skin. But at least it looks like he's lost about 30, 40 pounds. He can barely walk, um, pale skin, and um, probably doesn't even know, um, probably is not aware of his um, um, 
doesn't have any uh, cognizance about him. So um, this is a picture of Reverend Jesse Jackson here. Um, and he's losing his abilities not only because of Parkinson's disease, but also because of, you know, just old age. But as you know, other civil rights leaders, as well as um, Al Sharpton's did physical health, um, a lot of other civil rights leaders, uh, Dr. Cornell West is in good physical health. Um, a lot of other good possible civil rights leaders are still in good, good physical health. But of course, um, we are losing our leadership. We are losing our leadership in the black community. So I keep getting approached by people here, especially here in the city of Boston, they are pretty much asking me, Queen, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want us to do? What do you want? And I hate it when people ask me that question because I really do not know how to address the issue. So what it is, I saw this picture of the Reverend on my social media. And I sent it to, you know, Facebook, because Facebook, you have to make sure everything is legal. Um, is um, it, Just in case they get any legal issues. As well as, um, I sent it to a couple of government officials and some other people in the media. I was like, hey, can you guys give us a current updated status on this picture? Because this picture was taken two weeks ago and the Reverend can barely walk. He's a very tall man. He's a very tall man. He's very healthy, but he can barely walk and he looks very pale skinned. And so um, his skin looks darker in this picture, but it's still very pale skin. And so, like I said before, the COVID, this COVID-19 virus is respiratory. It's all respiratory. So anything, what it could do, it could easily take somebody out, especially if they are over the age of 65. Easily, easily take anybody out, especially if they have prior existing conditions, as well as they are over elderly. They are elderly in age, okay? Elderly. So anything. So COVID is a very, COVID-19 is a very serious virus. It's a serious virus. It can take, it can be, take anybody out with prior existing conditions. Conditions. And also those with um, elderly easily 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 so on top of that you want to make sure that this issue is addressed okay okay saying oh there's a technical difficulty facebook is telling me there's a technical difficulty facebook is telling me there's a, so you guys are gonna have to reload <laughs> reload it's still live is it still live so it is okay so reload the video So we load the video. Okay, so anyway, anyway, so he is in a very, very grave condition. The video has been reloaded. Has been interrupted. So, okay, so. Okay, so the video was interrupted, but bear with me, guys. Okay, because I'm trying to best explain the situation in the best way possible. Okay, so anyway, um, he is in very, very serious, very dire condition. Okay, and he is 
very, very dire, dire, very dire condition. Okay, dire, very dire condition. Okay, and like I said before, he's very thin, losing weight. He is losing weight. He is pale skin. Uh, barely walking. He is barely walking. And on top of that, um, there is like no security. Yes. What the drinks didn't do that for you? Oh yeah, thank you. No security. He has no security. No security at all. So anyway, he has no security around him, okay? So pretty much the issue has to be addressed, okay? We need to figure out a way to make sure that he gets um, this this um, issue is addressed. This issue is addressed. Okay. This issue is addressed. Unfortunately, you know, my life feed has been interrupted. Okay. So, um, but bear, bear with me, guys. So bear with me anyway so work with me while Facebook works with me again he is very he's in very grave condition um, pale skin uh, barely walk you know he's not being facilitated correctly he's not being facilitated correctly this is a civil rights icon this is our lead he's not being facilitated correctly okay he, he's not being supported. There's no there's no support. I mean, they're trying what they can. Of course, their doctors and there's nursing staff. This is like technical people, but he's not being facilitated correctly. Okay, he's not being facilitated correctly. So current current pictures of Reverend Jesse Jackson bring up two. Okay, if I go here to current updated photos of him. Probably maybe August 2021. Current pictures of Reverend Jesse Jackson. That's not him. That's uh, two, three years ago. That's him two, two three years ago. Uh, this is him again. This is in The Guardian. It was dated um, August of 2020. This was last year. Last year in The Guardian. Okay last year in the guardian he was again then better better help but still with physical signs of parkinson's disease losing his memory okay losing his memory as well as just you know of course they're trying to protect him trying to cover their mouths again you know you know wearing heavy clothes trying to loosen his tie things like that as well i mean he looks like my father a little bit <laughs> Uh, ABC News. Here's ABC News. Here is ABC News of Reverend Jesse Jackson. This is a fit picture of him taken. This was not, this is uh, about in August, August of 2021, 20, about three, two months ago. Okay, you know, a little bit healthier, but still very thin shape. We're in a, a thin cotton t shirt. He looks healthy, but again, everybody has their face mask on and trying to protect him. Again, losing hair, very pale, pale face, pale face. Okay. Here, the Guardian, the UK Guardian in the UK. Again, he's getting back, his shape is getting back, his skin tone is getting back, but he still looks very, very thin pale. Okay. I was in the Guardian. This is in Chicago Tribune.
heavy coat. This picture was dated. He's not wearing a face mask either. This man is not wearing a face mask and nobody in the crowd is wearing a face mask around uh, Reverend Jackson. Okay, and this was dated Chicago Tribune. This is dated August the 22nd, 27th. And he and nobody in this crowd, this picture was taken. Um, um, this is an old picture. And they're talking about Reverend Jesse Jackson Denise. He's always been a very, very heavy man. Okay, this is in St. Sabina Church. St. Sabina, Pastor uh, Michael, Father Flager, which I already talked to somebody earlier today about Father Michael Flager. Okay. Thinly, this is wearing a thin jacket. Okay, he's losing weight. He just got the COVID shot here. Okay, this is dated January. He made a public press briefing about that too as well. Okay, this is dated January the 8th, 2020 at Roseland Community Hospital, which I was also at Roseland Community Hospital too. I used to live in Roseland for six years. Okay, this is him at the annual Rainbow Push Coalition. On, on last two years ago in January 2020, at New Year's, January 2020, his face tone was good. Breathing looks good. Respiration looks good. But he still looks very, very tired, lethargic. He looks very, very tired and lethargic. Here, of course, we walk in a long march with Father Michael Flager on June 25th at St. Sabinum. Again, this is about the midway do, during, through the pandemic. Through the pandemic. This is according, thank you, Chicago Tribune. I don't, I don't own the rights to this. So thank you to Chicago Tribune. So I do not own the rights to these pictures. So thank you, Chicago Tribune. So again, he has support as a long community march. Thank you, Michael Father Flagger. Thank you, Father Flagger. Chicago South Side. Thank you, Father Flagger. Appreciate it. Father Michael Flagger. Michael Flagger, he's a nice guy. My, Father Michael Flagger, Father Flagger. Thank you, Father Flagger. Nice guy. Done a lot for the community, the black community in, in Southside Chicago. This is another march in June of 2020. Again, he's the only one. The whole audience is full of masks, which is good. He has his skin tone is doing good, but he's very tired, so he still needs support. He has his bodyguard is right there. Another bodyguard. He's still doing good. But Lord, Mayor Lori Lightfoot more bodyguard security guard around him they're not wearing this is uh last year at the beginning of the pandemic new year's lawyer lightfoot his skin tone is really good his weight is good he's wearing a you know a heavy jacket a, a wool jacket his skin tone is good he has a haircut he looks nice he's with the mayor lawyer lightfoot he is doing good he, again, he's with Mary Lori Lightfoot. His skin tone looks a little bit paler. He's trying to indicate his bodyguards behind him as well. Some more community support. And there is Tony Perwinkle and Mary Lori Lightfoot. Again, he looks a little tired. There he is again. He looks like my guy. <laughs> his skin is paler here in this picture. December of 2019, about three years ago. And the security guards around him. Uh, December 2019 was the beginning of probably at the initial start of the pandemic when it started in China. Okay. He got his uh, bodyguard security detail. His skin is pale here, but he's, his weight is good. His weight is good. Here, we're in Rosa Parks in 1988. You can always tell he has a good skin tone complexion, medium skin tone. And he's, he's medium sized. But he's still healthy, very healthy condition. He's he hasn't been he's not heavy set. He's medium he's medium sized, but still he's very very always good guy. Here again, maybe he's like six one, six two. A good height. This is in December of twenty nineteen. 
Thank you, Chicago Tribune. Here with Chicago PD. Here, this was taken in May of 2012, about 10 years ago. His skin is medium sized, got a haircut, a thin cotton t-shirt, short sleeve. He looks good. Got security po police around him. This is during November of 2015. I think, I think this is Chicago Water Tower, another protest. His skin is pale, but he looks very tired. This is about 2015. This is about 10 years ago. But you know, he's doing a community march. That's what he does. Another meeting, you know, he's pretty much heavy set right here. Another meeting, still a, very, a big guy. He's a big guy. He's not heavy set, he's just a big guy. He's always been a big guy. Jesse Jackson has always been tall, uh, medium size, a good weight on him. Here he is in 2013, about 15 years ago. Again, he's, you know, not, he's really not heavy set, but he's very thinly pale. You know, he's thin, thin set, but a good size. Here again, he looks good with community leaders around him. I think I know him from Chicago, Southside. Here he is with uh, Bernie, Bernie uh, Sanders, uh, March of 2016. in Hyde Park, Southside Chicago. He looks happy, gaining weight. He looks good. Here he is, 2012, with Senator, um, uh, um, this is Senator, one of the senators in New York, or DC. This is, uh, this is oh, this is Governor Deval Patrick in New York. Okay, so this is Governor De Deval Pat Patrick of New York. And next to here is Joel Ivanic. Anyway, here he is again. <clears throat> this was 1999, 20 years ago. There's some more fire crew, oh my God. Okay, here's the Rainbow Push Coalition 2015 during a march about 10 years ago. Here he is, again, you know, he's been a very, he's not a heavy set guy, he's medium size, but you know, thinly pale. Again, here with the community leader meeting, you know, nice guy, good, with community support around him. Again, here he is with Representative um, Danny Davis of, I think he's of Chicago, at one of his family members' relatives, again. I mean, he's medium tongue complexion. When he was younger, in his 20s, always been a tall, thin guy. Right here, tall, thin guy. He's been a very tall and thin build. That's with Dr. King, Jesse Jackson. Thank you, Chicago Tribune, for these pictures. That's Mahela Jackson. Uh, this is Wayne Whalen. Mahela Jackson, Dr. King. Albert Raby. That's another uh, person. Probably this. That's another leader of the civil rights movement. Okay. Jesse Jackson was along with uh, Dr. King. He wasn't his. He was his protege, but he was also on the same side. So Dr. King was also maybe like a couple years older than Jesse Jackson, but they weren't that far apart. He is at a protest in 1969 at Denver High School in Chicago. Very, always been thin and very tall, complected man. Light skin, light skin, tall, complected man. Here he is in Southside Chicago, Cabrini Green. Very tall, light skin, light tone. Tall about six, about five, five eleven, five twelve, six one. Thinly built. Here is again, thinly built, tall, light skin. Dr. King, this is before this, the same, the same, you know, the day that Dr. King was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee. This is one of Dr. King's associates. This is a reverend. There's Dr. King, there's Jesse Jackson. A very, this is a very troubled time in African American history. Okay.
So thank you to Chicago Tribune for those pictures. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to Chicago Tribune. Again, I really do appreciate it. And this is with him and his wife. This is an event uh, earlier this year. He looks out of a cognizance. Um, uh, this is dated today, but that's his wife. She's also very healthy. Um, Jacqueline, this was dated. Um, this photo was dated um, earlier this year, probably about maybe July maybe early this year probably april march he was good standing physical health still a little bit out of it but still his wife was good support him. she's also very healthy okay here he is again. Um, thank you to ABC News 7 in Columbus. Okay. Okay, here is WGN in Chicago, WGN. WGN in Chicago, WGN number nine. Um, he is right here hospitalized. Um, WGN trying to get this updated picture. Um, as soon as as soon as Lori Lightfoot um, here, Lori Lightfoot is very healthy. So Lori Lightfoot, Mayor Lori Lightfoot, has also tested negative for COVID nineteen. Um. Trying to give you guys current pictures. Checking Google. This is on Microsoft Bing. Right here. This is WTVO. WTO in Rockford, Illinois. It looks like Rockford, Illinois. As soon as this picture comes up. So bear with me. Facebook is trying to catch the same feed. Um, as soon as you guys do see, it's kind of slow. Facebook, the same feed is kind of slow, but bear with me. Okay. So as soon as this comes up, this is uh, ABC News 7. Okay, this was dated uh, today, earlier this morning. Earlier tonight, about 6 o'clock, 6 11. His wife is very healthy. Very, very healthy. She's, you know, medium size. No, she's not heavy set. She's just medium size, about 185, 57. She's about 56, 57, 185. She's very healthy. He does right here need assistance. So they did. I'm very happy about it. Gave a press briefing today. Um, here. Talking about his current welfare and his status. So he is very doing really good. This is as of today, which is really good. So he is doing good. He is um, walking, which is really good. So thank you to um, ABC7 for giving that information about his current status as well. Okay, so he's doing good, of course, but he does look, he is right here the same. Thank you to um, ABC7, a 17WTVD. 
ABC7 that he is still needing assistance as well. Hopefully he will get the best treatment too. So they did give a press briefing today, which is actually very good. Okay, so um, they did have a press briefing today. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so um, they gave a press briefing today, which is really good. Um, again, right here, he's, this one, you see, he's thin and pale. He looks like my dad, I swear. <laughs> my dad, like, you um, So he did get a press briefing today, that's great. But I still continue to follow up with that. Again, here's another by John Mancillo here. This was dated, um, another article dated a couple, maybe last month. Still thin. Okay. And that's a heavy coat, a heavy wool coat. It's still a thin, thin wool coat. But again, his, resp his respirations look slow. And nobody's wearing a mask. Nobody's wearing a mask. Nobody's wearing a mask around him. So his respirations look slow, but nobody's wearing a mask. He does have security detail, but his security de detail is not wearing a mask. Okay. His security detail is not wearing a ring, is not wearing a mask. Okay. Right here, his wife is very heavy set. I mean, she's she's medium size, about five six, five 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 six. Very healthy. Her skin tone is good. So her skin tone is good. His skin tone is light. So he has a very light skin tone. Again, he looks a little uh, inebriated, but again, you know, he's he still he still has spirits, even though he is still going through Parkinson's right now. I'm almost finished, so. Even though he's going through Parkinson's disease, he still looks very healthy. He's very healthy. Okay. But his skin tone is a little bit pale in this picture. Even though the light is in him, still his skin tone is very pale. He still has his height, his structure. He's not bending over. But he still stands tall. Okay, his height is good. His bone structure, his bone structure is good, but he's still very pale, pale tone. This is WG in Chicago, Southside. Um, he is doing really good. Let me see this picture here. This is data. Thank you, WGN. Um, he is dated today. WGN, Ben Bradley.
So his skin tone is very pale. Okay, he's still trying to do what he can. Okay. Uh, let's, this is another, this is a press briefing today. The same press briefing again, you know, it's as soon as it comes up here. My internet connection is very slow. It's been very slow for the past week on my laptop. Get out of this. Um, that's an old picture of him about two, three years ago. That's a like Rosalind. Again, um, NBC News, the same one at the awards, Black Caucus Awards. He's still tall. He needs assistance from his wife. His wife was also very healthy. Pale tone. Okay, little makeup. She has a little makeup on, not a lot of makeup, but she has a little bit of make makeup on. She has a little bit of makeup on. Some lipstick and um, eye eyelash. And his skin is also very pale. But again, you know, like I said, I'm just coming from a medical assistance point of view. He still needs assistance, okay? Okay, so those are some current, current pictures, okay? Again, these pictures are not the same, the ones that I just showed you. Okay, so he's from a griot. I'm going to try to get to a more um, an updated picture okay so this picture here from Fox 32 so <clears throat> hey Lynn how you doing hey Diane this is little queen this is Fox, Fox 33 Fox 32 Chicago this was dated um, Oh, today. Okay. So. It's Fox 32 Chicago. Um, he, still, he looks like he's been gaining weight a little bit. He some liquids, which is good. Soft foods. But his skin is very pale. Okay. His skin is very pale and it's a thin wool jacket. That's a thin wool jacket. There's also an administrator in Chicago too as well. She's also, I think she's a city councilwoman. She's a very nice, well-known. Um, here's thank you to Fox 32, Chicago. So this is Fox 32, Chicago, thank you. Okay, so this is, of course, right here. You know, he is, um, you know, looks thin, especially right here, because he's suffering from Parkinson's disease. Skin tone, Lori Lightfoot, healthy. Some other centers in Southside Chicago, barely speaking. Very slow words. Very, very slow words. Okay. But he's trying. Still very light tone skin complected she's been a, a news journalist in chicago for years this lady right here okay very thinly speaking right here okay Okay, so his skin tone is very pale. Okay, very pale. Very pale. A uh, wool jacket, but this is not the same as um, this. This was dated, um, the same one today, dated earlier this year at a news conference. 
this picture right here, he's still standing tall. His respirations look slow. But this picture is not the same as this picture right here. Okay, but they did give a press briefing today where they kind of fixed him up, put some clothes on him and made him look presentable. Okay, but before that he was in regular attire, which was like this. I don't know how long he has been in this state. Okay, do not know how long Reverend Jess Jackson has been in this state. But again, this, this, is, this is Reverend Jackson right here. He's very tall, strong, very limber, tall, very tall. His skin tone is a little bit pale. His respirations look low. Always been tall, but again, no security detail around him or anything. Okay, this person has been a little bit, a little bit further than this person. Okay, but again, again, they've actually tried to. Um, his his manner mannerism has changed. His mannerisms have changed. Of course. It has been facilitated as us, as thus. Okay. He's a little bit heavier here, and he's been a little bit paler here. But to, according to today's press briefing from um, Northwest Memorial Hospital, okay. Okay, some more pictures of him on Bing. Um, let me, let's just go back to, um, they're having dinner, so it's dinner time, so excuse me. <clears throat> let's go back here to WGN Chicago with um, Jesse yeah. Jackson. Okay, so we'll go to the Jesse Jackson uh, press briefing today. Another TV Emmy Award, Allison Payne, she died. Chicago T TV news anchor died of COVID or another related disease. Okay, so here's WGN. Thank you to WGN Chicago. Thank you to WG in Chicago as soon as it as soon as it pulls up. As soon as it pulls up. So as soon as the WGN a press briefing pulls up from him today, showing him being discharged from the facility. Okay, so this is WGN Hospital here. Okay. Okay, good. So you see him here. He's still standing. He's still standing. She looks like she's, she looks very familiar. This young lady looks very familiar. But it looks like the staff is really trying to, um, to let the public know that everything is in good health. Okay, so I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. So this is him, okay, he's still, he is, is that's a thicker t-shirt, that's a thicker long sleeve black t-shirt, but he still looks pale, pale tone. He's not to his full self, he does have security detail around him, 
this security detail is not wearing a mask either. And she's not wearing, this hospital administrator is not wearing a mask. But all the other administrators around him are wearing masks, except her and his security detail. Okay, so they're shaking hands. It looks good, okay. But again, it's not, okay. So it is not. So this right here, they put on a t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt on him and dressed him up. They put him on a long black t-shirt, dressed him up and put him out to the public. He's still very tired and very lethargic. Okay. But he needs, he needs some, some, you know, some, some therapy, some physical therapy to attend to him. Okay. All right, that is uh, WGN advertisements. But again, the man you saw earlier there. Okay, this is a commercial. Okay, the man that you saw there earlier. So again here. This is WGM. Okay. His security details not wearing a mask. He's at Northwest Memorial Hospital. Thank you, WGN. Here he is standing. He looks good, but he's still very tired. He does need assistance, physical assistance, physical assistance on both sides, okay? So he still needs assistance on both sides, okay? So you have this administrative personnel wearing a mask, but this security detail is not, that looks, this, this security detail is also not wearing a mask either, okay? But he's still very tired. They dressed him up. He looks like he has lost some weight. Still pale skin tone. Okay, he does have assistance. Okay, I'll screenshot this one too. Okay, and then I'll share this to my Facebook page. But this is not the same guy. Okay. Okay, so I'll try to share this as a screenshot. So this is today's um, press briefing with Reverend Jesse Jackson's updated COVID-19 status. Okay, so he looks good, he looks better. He does look better. Memorial Hospital, there we go. Thank you, w WGM. So again, he here, he is here. His, his skin is a little bit 
they put a jacket on him. And then also, um, he does look a little bit better. Here's another picture I'll show you guys on my Facebook page. Today, September 22nd. This is him right here. He's a little bit tall, very, very uh, much, uh, can barely walk. Thin, thin tone, okay. Has, does have some support. Security detail, this security detail looks like Eddie Long, but this is not Eddie Long, okay. But again, he's wearing a mask, she's wearing a mask, she's wearing a mask, she's wearing a mask, she's wearing a mask. I don't, do not know, this might be his son, I'm not sure. But you know his son, his son is um, Jonathan Jackson. News, his son is Jonathan Jackson. Again, um, which is good. Okay, so this is just a, this is just a hospital administrator. I don't know, she should not be hugging on the Reverend like that. Okay, this is another one here with another news journalist, another one. Another news journalist. This one is Channel 9 in Chicago. WGN 9. Um, this is at the Times Union. The Times Union, okay. Hospital in Chicago, Illinois, for today, September 22nd, 2021. Okay, so thank you to the Times Union for the updated photo on Reverend Jesse Jackson at Northwest Memorial Hospital in Chicago today. Okay.
really do appreciate this photo. Okay, again, you have this hospital representative, this nurse, a clerical administrator, um, laying her shoulder on her head on Reverend Jesse Jackson, and he is in very poor health. He's recovering, he's smiling, but he still looks very tired and lethargic. Okay, so anyway, I won't be long here, but I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update, okay, a current update. He does look a little bit better, but he still is very much tired because what COVID-19 does to you, it takes out your respirations. It takes out your lungs. It takes out your, your whole, um, the, your, your, your entire respiratory system. I know because I have experienced this on a professional level, personal level, I have survived COVID-19 as well as on a clinical level dealing with COVID testing at Harvard University. So he is still um, in really good, good, um, he's still very thin, thin pill, thin pill, thin, very thin pill, okay, very thin pill, okay, all right, so of course he is very thin pill, but um, the t-shirt is not, it's loose, and it's his, um, he still has a lot to do, okay, this, his administrative aide right here is not wearing a mask, Neither is this medical professional. She is not wearing a mask, I guess, because she has to talk during the press briefing. Like today, I'm not wearing a mask, but she still has to talk during the press briefing. So he still looks very tired as well as pale complected. His hair has been fixed up, but he still looks pale. That's him right there, going through the hospital doors. That's him outside the facility, as well as him earlier this morning. Or, I don't know, this is two weeks ago. This is two weeks ago. This was, um, click it. Susan Adams. So, um, luckily, the um, hospital staff was able to accommodate him. Thank you, Susan Adams. Lead him, trying not to protect her, but anyway, thank you, Susan. That was able to get the feed from Ms. Adams. Okay, so um, just um, thank you, Susan Adams. Um, to Susan Adams. Not really, this is an, another picture. Um, okay, so again, thank you Susan Adams for reporting that picture. We really do appreciate it for getting that picture out to the public. Okay, so again, thank you to, to Susan Adams for whoever got this photo out to the public, even if the photo.